<clears throat> so for this pro this um, video, we're going to concentrate on problems 9 through 11. So the number 9 says, write the equation of the graph of y equals cube root of x that has been reflected across the x-axis, shifted down, and then to the left. Now let's talk about that. If it reflects across the x-axis, then what that means is that whatever was up here will now reflect downward. Whatever was in this region will reflect downward and now be in this region and vice versa, which means essentially you've changed the, the sign of the y value. So what that does to the graph is it causes there to be a negative outside the basic function so that once you know what this y value is, you're going to change the sign. Now the next thing that happens is it shifted down three. Well what that means is that all of the y values of the graph are now going to move downward three. So we're going to end up um, adding or subtracting three from that y value to move it downward three. Then the last thing that happens is we want to move the graph to the left. Well, in order to move it to the left, what's going to end up happening is you're going to be um, affecting all of the x values. And we know when it comes to shifting left or right, you actually have to do the opposite operation, which even though I'm moving to the left toward the negative direction, I'm actually going to add 4 inside of that radical. Okay, that's the only kind of operation or transformation that requires us to kind of do the opposite of what was intended. So even though it's going left toward the negatives, you actually add four to make it go left. And then this would be the resulting equation after all of those transformations. Now, numbers 10 and 11 say determine the equation of the graph for problems 10 and 11. Now, I'm not that great of an artist. I just wanted to make sure that I had the correct points there, but this should look like a nice symmetrical parabola, okay? So it should be pretty nicely curved. It's just when I drew it, it didn't come out so evenly um, drawn out. But I can give you the equation. I know that equation of a parabola fits this kind of form where h and k are the coordinates of the um, vertex, and the coordinates of my vertex here happen to be 1 and negative 3. And then in order for me to find a, I would have to have another point, like this point here, um, 0 and negative 2, to figure out what that coefficient would be. So I'm going to plug in my h and my k first. So when I plug in h and k, I get x minus 1 squared plus a negative 3. Then if I plug in the x and y values here, that'll help me figure out what a is. So let's see, we have y is negative 2, x is 0, and so we end up with a times negative 1 squared, that's just a minus 3. I'm going to add 3 on both sides to get the term with a alone. So I get 1 equals an a, I mean negative 1 squared is just a positive 1. And if I divide by that factor on both sides, I get a by itself equals 1. So now I can give the equation of this um, parabola. It's going to be y equals a is 1 x minus h, which is 1, squared, plus k, which is negative 3. And if I want to clean that up and make it look nicer, it's just going to be x minus 1 squared minus 3. Now, depending on what the choices are, um, this may be an acceptable answer. If you don't see the choices having something squared, you just see them looking like parabolas, 
then you might want to foil this out, x minus 1 times x minus 1, and foil it out and then subtract 3 so that you can get the final answer. So if this were multiple choice, it would also be the same as x squared minus 2x minus 2. So these two things are equal. I'm sorry, my graph paper moved. These two equations are equivalent. Um, this is just what we get using the formula, and then this is what I would get if I foiled this out and then minus 3. Now for number 11, that one looks like a polynomial graph. Okay, now I do see that it's going upward, so I do know that it's going to have a positive coefficient with an even exponent. And I do have some zeros here. So I have an x-intercept there, I have an x-intercept there, and I have an x-intercept there. So I know that my equation is going to be y equals some coefficient, and then x minus a negative 2. And since it goes through there, it's going to have a multiplicity of 1. And then x minus 1, but since it bounces or just touches it, it's going to have a multiplicity of 2. And then x minus 5, and since it goes through there, it's only going to have a multiplicity of 1. So if I clean this up, it looks like my parabola will be x plus 2, x minus 1 squared, and x minus 5. Now if I want to have the... Um, A value, I need to plug in another point. And so I do have a y-intercept here of 0 comma negative 1. So y is negative 1 and x is 0. So I get negative 1 equals a times 2 times negative 1 squared times negative 5, which gives me a times 10, positive 10. And then if I divide both sides by that factor, I'll get that a equals negative one-tenth. Now, that means that my equation should equal negative one-tenth times x plus two, x minus one squared, and x minus five. Now, if the choices on my multiple choice exam have it in factored form, then I am done. But if the choices have it in expanded form, then I am not done. I have to actually multiply this all out. And so I'm going to go ahead and come over here and continue with number 11. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my equation and I'm going to start to expand it. So instead of x minus 1, I'm going to write x minus 1 times itself. And then I'm going to start multiplying everything out, but I'm going to go back to the front, from back to front. So when I foil this out, I get x squared minus 5x minus x plus 5, or in other words, x squared minus 6x plus 5. Then now I'm going to multiply in the next factor. And so I get x cubed minus 6x squared plus 5x minus x squared plus 6x minus 5. If I combine my like terms, I have x cubed minus 7x squared plus 11x minus 5. Then if I multiply this factor in, I end up with x to the fourth minus 7x squared plus 11x, or I'm sorry, 7x cubed plus 11x squared minus 5x, and then plus 2x cubed minus 14x squared plus 22x minus 10. And so then I end up with x to the fourth minus 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus I believe that's 17 negative 5 plus 22 
minus positive 17x and then minus 10. And if I factor in the 1 tenth, I get negative 1 tenth x to the fourth, negative 5 tenths, which is the same as 1 half x to the third. Po oh, negative and negative is positive. Negative and negative is positive. 3 tenths x squared. That would be negative 17 tenths x and then positive 1. And so you could also see um, the answer to this equation like this. I am realizing that I made a mistake here. So this is going to affect everything, but I'm not going to erase everything. I'm going to kind of just correct the error. So I noticed that even though the x coordinates were going by one unit, this here said negative 30, which means these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are five units apiece. So the coordinates to this point were not 0 and negative 1, but 0 and negative 5, which means when I plugged in my y value, I should have been plugging in negative 5 for my y value, which is going to affect the a. So when I divide 5 by 10, I actually end up getting the a value of 1 half. So this should actually be 1 half. And then now, if I continue on trying to expand that, um, all of these 10s here should be 2s. So luckily I didn't do anything with that until the very end. Therefore, it doesn't affect my final response until the very last line. So it's kind of a good thing that we worked backwards there because we didn't mess up everything just this little bit. And here. So then when you distribute the half, you actually get negative 1 half x to the fourth. Here you get a positive 5 halves x to the third. Here you get a positive 3 halves x squared. Here you get a negative 17 halves. And then finally you get positive and so if you don't see the factored form of the answer in the, in the choices, you may see the expanded form in the choices, but at least now you know that you just need to multiply everything out in order to get that expanded form.